Hello everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome to Waverley Hill Sanatorium. This is my next walkthrough, so I hope you enjoy. Now when you start off, you start off in front of a big building. Now, they're not going to make it that easy for you to get in, so you are not able to go straight through the front doors. What you do have to do, however, to get inside is go to the back of the building. I like how they've used Lyra's home textures for this. Anyway, once you get to the back of the building, you will see a barrier. Crouch down and shoot said barrier and crawl through the tunnel behind it. Here we go. Come forward, and these four rooms all contain items. Now, in here, is a diary. And the diary reads, I'm in the sanatorium. We're stricken with an outbreak of tuberculosis. A lot of people is dying. The bodies are removed in a secret tunnel. Dr. J. Frank W. Stewart says 100,000 deaths. I think there's something else. Something is killing people. I saw the death of a nurse by suicide in room 502. She was pregnant and married. There's something wrong in here. Mrs. Ake, 1960. Okay. So, uh, good times are happening in here then. Happy fun times. Now, I've got a trick. Instead of just picking up the flares and the revolver bullets you see on the floor, go to the right cupboard and then take two steps back from it she should open up the cupboard and not pick up the item in front she picks up two the two items that were on the floor but when you open this next cupboard to the left you will also get some more revolver ammo and some more flares whereas if you just picked up the bullets and the flares from the floor you would get the extra ammo. Exit the room and go to the room straight ahead. In here is a medic pack and some flares. Exit the room and come to the right. The room on the left again is very dark so I will light a flare but all that's in here are some flares in this corner here exit the room and go to the one opposite now in here you can do the same trick again so go up to the cupboard take two steps back and then you're able to open up the cupboard so you'll pick up both items from the floor and then you will get some extra items in this next cupboard here, to the left of it. Now there is also some more flares and some ammo in this cupboard. Apparently it's one set of two sets of flares. And two sets. So if you did the trick, by now you should have 30 revolver ammo and 122 flares. Come out to the right and climb on top of the bin. Go forward and climb up again. Light a flare because it's very dark in here. You are in the vent system, I think. There are passageways that lead off, but none of them lead anywhere. They're all dead ends. Just follow the passageway that you can get through, though. Drop down into the room below. And you'll come into a room with a tree growing inside of it, which I thought was kind of weird. Anyway, open the door next to the tree. Ahead you will see a card slot. Of which we don't have the card yet. 
open the door into the next room and go right to the back if you find that camera angle is a bit weird you can use the look button to get out of it and to the left is a laser sight so we'll pick that up but we don't actually need to the end of the level but we can't pick another one up so you might as well just take that one we do need it so I'll just shut up talking now exit the room back to the room with the tree there's another door in the corner here there's also the two main doors there if you go over to the doors Laura will say that she can't open them I can't open it yet over here it's a box behind the box is a door move the box away from the door open the door and enter the next area first room on the left is a kitchen and it contains some bandages but you really don't need them but uh, I'll pick them up just because the next room contains some boxes now the first one you push once then you push the one to the right of it once yeah I really like to fly once just finish pushing the box there we go to the right here are some more revolver bullets. Follow the boxes round, you'll get to another box of revolver ammo. Push this box forward, and underneath it was the revolver itself. So let's pick that up, shall we? Exit this room, and then Come over here and shoot the barrier in front of this door. <laughs> Go through said door. Now here it's best to back out and drop through the hole with a grab. So you're not tempted to fall anywhere. In this room, there are thin ledges and there are also thicker ledges. You can only step on the thicker ledges except for that one in the far corner over there. On that far corner that over there is a key card. So let's go to that key card. Remember you can only jump on the ledges that are thicker. Unless it's this one here, in which case you can't actually stand on it. Tricky enough to pick up the key card otherwise. The other ones are all ghost ledges. So climb back out. And we are going back to that key card slot. Near the room with the tree. So exit to the left back through this door here through the door next to the tree this is where that key card goes the door to the right of it opens we are going up the stairs we are taking the first door on the right In here, I will save it just because. In here, this floor is deadly. You can't just run across the room to the other side. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Um, what you do have to do is grab the ceiling and avoid those flame emitters. 
you have to tie them to get past. You have to move around the room in a snake-like fashion, avoiding those until you get to the other side. So stop about here. And as soon as they stop, move it. <laughs> you don't actually get a lot of time in between the emitters to move it. For this one, stop on the black patch on the ceiling. Wait for the emitter to leave or expire or whatever you'd like to call it. Follow the passageway around and then drop. Enter through the door. And some fire will start magically. Pick up the key card that's on the floor in this room. And we are going out. I forgot to show you where to put that key card. Anyway, you have to get out the same way you got back in. So. Let's wait for this emitter to... Uh, Then once you get to this emitter, stop in the corner here and wait till you can turn to the left as long as you don't move any further forward. And as soon as that's gone, you move forward. Okay, there we go. Come out to the right, and this is where you put that key card. Let's see if I can open this door. She will say that she'll see if we can open that door, but we have just done so. I don't know why she said that after you put the key card in. Anywho, right. Up here is another hallway with some doors. barrier and in here is a death room the only patches that you can the only pieces of the floor that you can actually jump on are the black patches on the floor so ignore the tempting items that you can see around the room I will light a flare Ignore the tempting items you can see dotted around the room. If you try and get to them, you will catch fire. So, ignore anything tempting. jump to the one in front of the cupboard there's nothing in the cupboard so don't bother opening it the only piece of the floor that you can get onto is the one in this corner here where the key card is so pick up that key card jump back on all the black patches you see around the room back to the entrance And then we are going to the left 
and inserting the key card in here. The door to the right was open, shoot the electric box on the wall and pull the lever down and that opens the door in that corner of the room where the tree is. So we're going all the way back down here. Just a note, there is a maniac in this room, I can't remember which door it is, but there are some items in there, but there is no point because you've got plenty of items to be going on before the rest of the level. So I think we'll leave him for now. If you want to find him, you can go ahead and find him and uh, do business with him, but uh, no, I think we'll let him live. I'm not in a violent mood today. So we're in this corner of the room has opened. Now once you get to the bottom of it, there are some arrows on the floor for some reason, but you don't actually get anything to use them with, so there's no point in picking them up. Now what I will do though is save the game, because this is the entrance to a maze, and there is an enemy in here. Just use the shotgun to dispatch of him quickly, then I will tell you which way to go. So we go to the next left turning, and he will jump out at us. Don't let him scare you. Bye bye! Go away! We don't want you! Now, from this entrance... Oh, a lighter flare. Now, from this entrance here, where the demigod, I forgot what it was called, where the demigod is, from here, you go left, pull it round to the next junction, and the next junction go left, follow the pathway around, and the next junction go right, follow it round, and the next junction go left, Follow it round. At the next junction, go right. Right. Follow it round. Right again. Left. And then just keep going straight towards the items on the floor. I'll light another flare. Follow the pathway around, turn left again and turn right up the short ramp and slide down into a big room. Now it looks like you'll need to shoot all the dragon heads but I don't think you actually need to do that. I've had it where I don't have to do that, so I don't know why. Combine the revolver with a laser sight and equip it. Shoot. You only need to shoot one apparently. So exit this room. You're supposed to, I think that the, the uh, designer intended for you to pick that up before this gate opened. But actually it's really big because so all you need to do is walk up to it and that gate opens. See? And this is where the level ends, so uh, I thank you very much for watching, guys. I know this one was a bit buggy, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And uh, I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye, guys.